Hello and welcome to another session on sequence and series and in this uh, session we are going to discuss selection of terms in an AP. What does that mean? Uh, there are few observations that uh, you know uh, few given terms are always in AP. So you know what are these terms we are going to discuss. So let's say uh, when can we say that three terms are always in AP or four terms are always in AP or five terms are always in AP. So is that is that some kind of or is there some kind of uh, structure of or let's say some kind of terms and uh, in you know inherently they are in AP. So are there such terms? So that's what we are going to discuss today. So let's take up uh, uh, three first first the case of three terms. So let's study this three terms are always in AP. Three terms are always in AP okay let those three terms are a uh, or instead of a and b let me use terms like p q and r okay so p q r are in AP so do we have some you know generalized p q r so that it will they will always be in AP let's try and understand so when is p and q and a r in AP clearly when q minus p the common difference must be equal to r minus r minus q or 2q must be equal to p plus r okay so do we have some selection of p and r and q so that they are they are always in ap so uh what we can do is let us say this is equal to or you know so if you select p as let's say a minus d and q as a and r as a plus d where a and d are any arbitrary real numbers where where a and d are real numbers are real numbers so if you see a minus d a and a plus d will always be in ap isn't it why because their common difference is always d common difference is equal to d let's take an example let's say a is 2 a is 2 and d is 3 okay a is 2 and d is 3 so first term is 2 minus 3 second term is 2 itself and 2 plus 3 clearly these three terms are in ap isn't it minus 1 2 and 5 what is the common difference common difference is 3 so we see that if you have a minus d and a and a plus d three terms are there in this form they will always be in ap so is it restricted only to two terms no let's go for what if there are four terms in ap four terms always in ap always in ap what all they can be so a minus 3d a minus d a plus d and a plus 3d if you look at them very carefully the common difference is 2d right in these in these four terms common difference common difference is equal to 2d okay so they are very much in ap with common difference 2d so you can treat this as first term and common difference to be 2d and then you can write any ap in this form so all if an ap is in this form a minus 3d a minus d a plus d a plus 3d then they are in all they are always in ap so hence let's say there is a problem where you have to consider four terms in ap so you can always consider these like them instead of taking them as pqrs or abcd or a plus a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d instead of that you can take a minus 3d a minus d a plus d and a plus 3d okay so example let's say a is equal to 5 and uh, um let's say b or d is equal to 1 then what are the terms 5 minus 3 5 minus 1 5 plus 1 and 5 plus 3 is it it if you check this is 2 this is 4 this is 6 and 8 they are in ap isn't it so hence whatever be the values of a and d they will always be in ap again if you have let's say you have to pick up uh you know five terms in ap five terms five terms in ap 
okay if you have to take up five terms in ap then clearly you see a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d and a plus 2d with a cd of or with a common difference of d correct again you can write five terms in ap like that you can check on a you know the common difference between every two consecutive term is d correct okay so uh, what if we have a selection of six terms so if there is a selection of six terms then again a minus 5d a minus 3d a minus d a plus d a plus 2d sorry 3d and a plus 5d so whenever there are um even number of terms so we have um you know a minus some odd multiple of d like that right so this is this is odd multiple of d a minus odd multiple of d or a plus odd multiple of d these are six terms in ap all the time so six terms in so these are six terms in ap always in ap similarly there is no restriction for the next you have would have guessed that a minus 3d a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d a plus 2d and a plus 3d all are these are all seven terms in ap correct there is a reason why we are writing in this manner why because let's say uh, when we you know uh, take up problems where some of the terms of ap is given then you can eliminate one variable that is d by adding all of them if you see if you add all of them adding all of them just eliminates d and hence we have you know uh, represented them in this format right Elim adding all of them eliminates d and if you know sum of three terms or four terms or five terms or six terms or seven terms or for that matter any n term you can take terms in such a way that you know you eliminate d by adding so if you add all of them d is eliminated you get a directly and hence the reason why we are expressing them in this uh, fashion it will be clear when you solve problems on this subsequently